What made you build it ultimately? Because it's going to replace the phone, if I'm getting this right. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's really great to be here today um, on a really big moment for us. Uh, we've been building for quite a while, and really the vision has always been to build the first personal computer that allows you to take AI with you everywhere. And that's really the, the vision that we've had since day one. People have been so excited to see what you're going to provide, largely because you've got some big backers. You've got already $230 million raised. You came out of Apple, of course, key to their product development. Everyone waiting with bated breath. Ultimately, how do you think that this will be demanded for when it's the first of its kind, but there will be competition? We already understand that Sam Altman, one of your key investors, is looking at building a wearable with none other than Johnny Ive. Yeah, I think it's incredible that we're at this moment where we are really seeing uh, the fact that we're at the beginning of a new age of compute. I think it's incredible that there's a lot of excitement around the space. And we've been building this vision since 2018. We knew it would take some time to build an ambient, you know, and very personal computer in the way that users expect. And I think it's amazing to see where we are now. And again, it's just the beginning. Bethany, let's break down the hardware and software component. What is it that Humane's cracked on the hardware side? And what is it that OpenAI is bringing here on the software side? Yeah, I think at the heart of it, we knew that we wanted to build something that was going to be as powerful as a smartphone that's really challenging and a very small form factor. The miniaturization of it, the development of the antenna. We have an antenna that is truly global that can roam anywhere. Um, we also have a lot of technology packed in a very small package. And I think uh, that's really the differentiator. This is a standalone device. It's not connected to any other uh, companion device. This is something that um, is truly standalone and is network connected and that that absolutely has been the biggest challenge. Caroline referenced the reports from September that, that OpenAI and Sam will work with Johnny Ive on an AI smartphone or to device and in common you do have the, the, the underpinnings of the AI technology. How will you work around that and remain sort of unique or competitive? Yeah, I think that for us, um, what we're building is a true uh, personal computer. Um, we have both our own proprietary AI. Uh, we also use models from OpenAI and other models as well, and that will be continuing to grow over time. And I think we're just excited to see more excitement about in the space in general. I think that means we're all heading towards a world where ambient compute will be part of our day-to-day -day life, which is pretty amazing. So we're not suddenly dominated by our screen. Throw it to the side. Who and how did you build a supply chain into this at the moment, Bethany? Where are you managing to get this built? Yeah, it's, it was incredibly challenging, as you can imagine, building a company uh, starting in 2019, building through the pandemic. Um, we have some incredible partners across the, the globe, really, that have been part of this journey. Um, Humane is a small company, but we have partnered with incredible groups of people around the world that, that allow us to really have the ability to manufacture in a way that I think hopefully we'll be able to live up to the demand, which we know will be incredible. Bethany, are there plans for lower spec, kind of more affordable models of this for markets like China or other Asian markets? It was always our intent early on to make it as approachable as possible. I think for the amount of technology that you're getting, I think we set a pretty high bar for ourselves in terms of pricing it as, as at a level that we think is, is approachable and accessible by as many people as possible. Um, that was something we set from day one in, in 2018, what we wanted the price point to be, and, and we worked really hard at that. Of course, there will always be improvements over time in terms of driving down costs, um, and that will always be something that is important to us. How can we make this as accessible by as many people as possible?